It is important to regularly monitor the health of your station to make sure everything is running as smoothly as you expect. You can see here I've focused on the health tab and most of the entries over here are just informational entries and there's one warning over here that tells me that the encoding of media failed so it gives me the medium item id and the code and the reason so this was a file i uploaded to my library which was corrupted so the system was not able to um, transcode it and process it so this is what this warning was about you also get a lot of other information like here it tells me that on air switching from sam broadcast or cloud this was actually when i was doing some testing on my station and moving it around on the back end um, we can look at this event over here scheduled event demo event executed successfully tells me my scheduled event worked also um, demo spatial encoder disconnected so i was doing a live show you can see here that let's start here uh, demo at spatial.com encoder connected then on air switching from sam browser cloud to demo at spatial.com so i'm connecting my live encoder and now the cloud system is switching to that live encoder to make it on air and here we switch back from the live encoder back to the cloud and finally my encoder disconnected so you can get a good overview of what's happening on your station but um, let's go through a few cases where things go wrong and I'll show you a few examples of that so when it happens you know what to do the most frequent problem customers experience is have setting up their rotation logic incorrectly I'm going to start with the extreme example where everything is configured to kind of break so to start out with i'm going to make an empty playlist and this playlist contains zero items and now i'm going to go to my schedule and to my play block and i'm creating one here called bad play block and i'm gonna use my empty playlist going to remove that one so empty playlist with default separation rules and logic is least least recently played at the, in the end that doesn't really matter because there's no items in the playlist so it has no chance of selecting tracks to play the other important thing to notice here is the fail over logic is also not checked so i'm going to go ahead and save my bad block and then i'm going to change the active play block to bad block and finally i'm going to go back to my health tab and i'm going to switch to the next track and what you should notice in a second here oh i've got one thing there's items in my queue so it's working because it's just selecting items from my queue so let's try that again i'm going to jump to the next track and you will notice here a bunch of errors coming in and it looks quite bad what's happening here is that the system is not able to find the track at all because now my play block has no failover logic and since it can't pick a track it's simply failing and after a few failures your station will actually be stopped for five minutes by the system and then um, start it up again and you'll see uh, let's just go through these error messages. Let's look at the first one. It says Play block bad block failed to pick a track from empty playlist using default And then the next statement is rotation logic failed to find a valid track fr from queue or active play block fix your active play block So these ones were warnings. So it's usually not a big issue if it's not able to find a track on one of the lines of your play block but if none of the lines in your play block provide a valid track and there's no fail over logic then that's a, quite a serious error and after trying a few times the final message here is station throttled due to excessive track rotation request station will be blocked for five minutes so now my station is offline and the problem is after five minutes um, we won't be able to find a track again and this whole cycle will repeat so let's go ahead and at least improve the situation i can go to schedule 
and I'm going to turn uh, on file over logic and that should help at least so that when the system can't pick a track using the play block you've configured it will pick any random track the disadvantage of that is that obviously it won't follow your precise specified logic but the good news is that at least your station won't go down okay so let's go back to the health tab and unfortunately we're going to have to wait five minutes for the track to the station to start up again after the block period is over but while we're waiting for that i'm going to go ahead and just show you the filters over here so now you can see we have 91 informational messages we have 20 warning messages and 20 error messages so if i wanted to see just my informational messages i can just turn off the other ones and then just focus on information messages alternatively I can just turn on warnings and now I can just see all my warnings or maybe I just want to see all the errors so that's a quick way for you to zoom in to what's important to you at that particular time I'm going to go ahead and turn all of these on again and I'm going to pause the video until those five minutes are up and the station starts up again Oh, before I go, I just wanted to mention, you see that the station does show on air and that it's currently online, but if you would try to listen to your station right now, it will actually not be able to play. So even though this shows on air and on, due to the station throttling, your station is actually not on air at the moment. Five minutes has passed and the station is online again, a new track started playing. And if we look at the informational messages here, you'll see on air switching to Sam Broadcaster Cloud. And this just means the station just became online. Here we get a warning message, play block, bad block, fail to pick a track from empty playlist using default. And then another warning, rotation logic failed to find the valid track from queue or active play block, selecting random track. So this is just a warning because this won't cause your station to go down, but indeed it's no longer following your specified rotation rules. And that is something you need to fix. Okay, so let's go ahead and fix that. And that's mostly, I'm going to do that just by switching to the default play block. And if we go to the default play block, you will see quite simple logic over here. Select something from all media using no rules and the least recently played logic. So that's almost guaranteed to find the valid track. Um, you can learn more about setting up your play block and rotation rules in a different video. Um, but let's just go to look at one more example of something that often goes wrong. And that's with scheduled events. A frequent problem that happens is that users configure their scheduled events to add items to a playlist or a queue, but never clear or empty that list, so eventually it grows and grows until it's not allowed to add any more items. And to showcase that, let's first back, jump back to the library, and I'm going to create two playlists here called Big List 1, and let me do another one here. Uh, called big list 2 and both of them are empty but I'm going to drag all media into big list 1 if I now go ahead and select all these tracks and drag them over you'll see there's 90 items in here so what I want to go ahead and do is just add a few more items and now we have 94 items i actually just want to make it around 100 so there's three items there's 97 that should be 100 let's just make sure that is the case so i can drag here and i have exactly 100 items so now if i drag to big list number two big list number two should have 100 items now big list one has 200 items 300 items 400 items 500 items and 600 items 700 800 
900,000. Let's just go verify that. So if I select all again and I want to drag, you see it has a thousand items. I'm gonna go ahead and clear bitlist two now. Drag bitlist one to bitlist two. So now this one has two thousand items. Now bitlist one should have three thousand items. And drag this here. Now bitlist two should have six items, thousand items. And one more time here. I think I forgot. To so this one has 5,000 items now. Um, that should actually... Let's just go ahead and clear big list two. So now we have in big list two, 5,000 items. Do it one more time. And now it has 10,000 items. Let's just verify that. And there's 10,000 items. That should be sufficient to showcase this demo. So I know this took a little bit of a while of creating. I just wanted to show you both how to use bulk editing to build this list. And we need a lot of items to showcase how to do this. Okay, just to recap, we've created these two big lists. But I actually only want to work with big list 2, which has 10,000 items in it. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this playlist. Because it's so big, it takes a moment longer to delete, but there it's done. So we have big list 2, and I'm going to rename it big list 10k. So we know it has 10,000 items in it. And now we're ready to create our scheduled events. And for that, um, let's go to the scheduled events, and we want to do it for this time. And let's say we call it add big list to queue. And we want to execute it every, let's say, repeat every five minutes. Well, okay, we can only say every 10 minutes. So we want to repeat it every 10 minutes and we want to well basically end it at the end of the day. So on a Wednesday we're repeating this event every 10 minutes and we want to repeat it till the end of the day. And let's just make the color, let's go ahead and make it this purple color over here. And the display duration we want to make really short. Let's do it five minutes. And now let's get to the more important part. What we want to do, we want to add a playlist to the queue. So we want to add our big list 10K and we want to add it to the queue to the bottom of the queue. And that's what, what we want to do. And let's go ahead and save this. And you'll see this event will execute quite a few times today. And now I will pause the video until this gets time to execute and we'll get back to you as soon as that's done executing. I've waited a few minutes and the scheduled event actually executed successfully for the first time. You can see here at 11.57, scheduled event add big list to queue executed successfully. Now if we go to the library, you will notice there's items in the queue. And if I select all of them and I and I drag them around, you can see there's 999999 items. So one of them has started playing already. So that's a good sign. Because there's, there's so many tracks, I'm actually going to switch my view over here to um, auto. And we'll wait for the next event to execute so we can see what happens after that. Here we can see that the second scheduled event has executed successfully. And if we jump back to the library, we go to the queue and we want to drag the items, you'll see there's 19,998 items now in the play in the queue. So you can see we're definitely adding items to the queue faster than the queue can play. So the queue continues to grow. So let's wait for a few more events and see what happens. Okay, we're back. The scheduled event has executed for a third time. 
So let's go ahead and look at our queue now. Again, select all the items, try and drag them. And you see there's 29,996 items. So the upper limit for the queue is 30,000 items. We're not allowed to add more than 30,000 items. So let's see what happens on the fourth execution of the scheduled event. Finally, we can see this latest event failed. Add big list to queue failed. And this is a warning message. So you can see this is why it's a frequent problem for our customers is because it seems like you've configured your scheduled event correctly and it works and it works and then it suddenly starts failing. And it starts failing because the queue now contains so many items that it's reaching that upper limit of 30,000 items and you're not allowed to add more items to it. This often happens when customers either turn on the loop queue so that whenever item plays it's added to the bottom of the queue and also when customers forget to clear the queue before adding new items to it. So this scheduled event that's executing so frequently can easily be fixed by simply going back in here and editing it and saying clear queue and we want to clear the queue before we add items to the queue. So remove all items in the queue and then add playlist, big list, 10k to bottom of queue. So by doing that, the next event should work because now it will first clear the queue before adding new items to the queue. So this example only covers the queue, adding items from a playlist to a queue, but you also have the ability to add one playlist to another playlist via scheduled events. So it's just as important in that case that it, you clear the queue or you clear the playlist before adding new items to it um, to avoid it growing and growing and reaching that limit and eventually failing. That concludes our overview of monitoring uh, your station via the health tab. There might be other types of errors and conditions you need to be on the lookout for. So make sure to check back frequently on your health tab to see if there's anything unexpected happening on your station.